I, uh... Y Yasha, let's go look at the lava real quick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. wanted to see it anyway. Okay, yeah, get a yeah. better look let's at this. Let's get a better look. Mm -hmm. Have fun, you guys. Thanks. Okay, we'll stay safe. <laughs> Do you remember our first date by the lava flow? <laughs> <laughs> So I was kind of banking on having Caleb's tower, you know? I, I and, was already, yeah. Yeah, and not like uh, 12 other people around us. Yeah, I feel like that would make for a very interesting uh, first date. It'd be uncomfortable. But I think uh, I would rather wait for something, uh, I don't know, not this. Not anxiety inducing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is weird. A hundred percent weird. I don't know how to talk to him at I all. I either. I hate him. Yeah, I kind of do, but at the same time, I'm, 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 I want him back. It's frustrating because you can see that one percent of him, that ten percent of him, that is that piece of Molly. Yes. So it's like you can see this version of him that's better and good and not corrupted by. Well, I was gonna say greed and arrogance, but arrogance kind of was always Molly's already there. Thing. It was already it was there. fine, but, but it was cute. It was cute. Fun. It was endearing. Yeah, yeah, charming arrogance. Yeah, this is a little different. Yeah, um, I think we should put a pin in it. Okay, and uh, let's stay alert and please um, don't die in the meantime. Don't die. Okay. Next time we have the tower. Okay. Okay. That's a plan. Shake on it. <laughs> I kick some snow into the lava. <laughs> okay. So it just floats. But maybe we can build like a raft. A snow raft. We should just build a raft and, and leave right now. You and me. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. It's a good idea, though. It's a very inviting. Let's go protect. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay. As she comes back, I'm gonna grab Yasha. And <laughs> can we go to the edge of the lava? Just to me. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Sure. Let's go. I just squint at Veth as they walk by. Okay. <laughs> this is hey. not how I pictured tonight going. <laughs> An asshole. <laughs> what do you What do you mean? I had a plan to do something really nice for you, really special, and have like a oh, well, a one on one moment. And yeah, I mean, it just didn't happen. You it's know? okay. I I think, you know what? We'll make sure to do it at another time. No, I think I can do it now. I oh. wrote you a poem. Uh. <laughs> oh, no one's ever written me a poem before. Yeah. I thought, you know, oh. you, you, you've just been so distant from us. I just want to make make sure that you know that you're part of the team and part of the, the family, and so. Beth, I, that's so sweet. Well, you know, I do what I can. Should I? You can sit. I'll, I'll sit, yeah, yeah, yeah? I'll sit. <laughs> I'll, I'll bunch up some snow. It's not very long. I, I had to write it while we were walking today. <laughs> it was really hard to write while you walk. Anyway. Yeah, of course, it gets all weird. I've tried it. it the rhyme okay. scheme kind of falls apart, whatever. No, 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 it's fine. Big, bold, brave Yasha. Hair so long like yummy pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Sturdy as the cauldron of Tasha. If you're dirty, we will wash you. <laughs> if you cross her, it will cost you. We'd be sad if we ever lost you. Oh. <laughs> I scoop her up and I give her a big hug. Oh. <laughs> Beth, that's so nice. Thank you. Well, you know, I just thought that you needed to hear it from someone because no one's going to tell you you're special out here on on these, you know, horrible wastelands. You know, no one's going to just look in your eyes and say, "Hey, you. I like you." Thank you, Veth. Um, may I keep this? Of course, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is very special. Um, I'm gonna put it in my my uh, flower journal. Okay. And just remember, I was the first person to ever write you a poem. I will always remember it. 
Thank you so much, Veth. I, I, I will always remember. All right. We'll, 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 we will, we will. We'll do something more special. Let's put a pin in this. Well, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah, do we'll that. Yeah, we'll do a, a proper something. A proper something. Okay. Something. Yes, I'm okay. in. Okay. All right. Shake on it. <laughs> <laughs> shake up. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Such a dick. Okay. Fucking troll. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Master. What? So, how are you guys resting? What are you doing? What, you want to go talk about it next to the lava? <laughs> <laughs> if I were to throw up any, this isn't where I sort of think. But I'm going to crawl over some bodies and sit next to Yasha. <laughs> no. Sorry. No. <laughs> how are you? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hot pocket. <laughs> roll on, roll down. The, oh no. How are you feeling with all this? Oh, this is awful. Yeah. How are you and Bo doing? I saw you guys talking. Um. Well, she asked me out on a date. <gasps> she what? Yeah. Yeah, she asked me out on a date, and. We were going to go tonight in the uh, tower. Oh booth. no! You know, but it's okay. There's a lot going on right now, and you know we have to focus on on uh, keeping everybody safe and making sure that the world doesn't end. You know? Yeah. That's that. Like obviously, this that's like the most important stuff. First and foremost. But did you give her the poem? <laughs> well, I I was working on it, and then I just. I, I kind of ended up writing her a letter. I still have a poem, but I... Uh, I just ended up writing her a letter. It felt weird, and it felt like really... Um, I wasn't ready yet. So I just wrote her a, 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 a note, and um, yeah, and then she asked me out on a date. Yeah. <sighs> I feel like... Um, I feel like I saw... You and Ford getting very, um, like, drapey with each other. Drapey? Just like, you know, that when we were sleeping the other night. Yasha! Was like, Yasha! Drapey. Yasha! What? He gets to be. <laughs> <laughs> what? I know! And? And it was awesome! Have you kissed somebody before? Well, only four, really. Underwater, so I don't think it counts. I thought it counted, but I don't think it counts. What did you feel? What did it feel like? Was it wonderful? You know those butterflies that keep appearing around us? Yeah. Felt a lot like that. Maybe they like flew out of your stomach. I think I've been surrounding. holding them inside. I think you <sighs> How wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Was it romantic? It was pretty romantic. How do you feel about him? I mean... It, it kind of feels different than I thought it would. After all of the books that I read, you know? Like, it feels like... Like we know each other really well, you know? In all those books that I read, it's... Two strangers coming together and forging this passionate affair, and it, it doesn't—it doesn't feel like that. It feels like, like it feels comfortable, instead. Hmm. But in a good way. Well, from my experience, which is. Not a lot. I've found that the passion and the love for somebody sort of is stronger the more you know them and the more you love them. And, you know, I read, I've read books, but I don't feel like it's ever really like that. Yeah. It's, it's better. Well, I'm excited for you. 
no pressure whatever happens but how beautiful to explore those things yeah I look over at Bo sleeping I yeah. cover her up because she's like starfished and yeah. off her blanket, <laughs> tucking her arms. Yeah, and that's just one, one arm's like half on Caduceus, <laughs> like a leg over Caleb. It's pretty. It's tight in here, you know. It's pretty tight. I think we have. There's. I'm ready to sleep in the. I can sleep anywhere, but man, after sleeping in that tower and having your own place with a fireplace and. Hey, I um, I meant to tell you, I uh. I told, I told Jester how I, how I, how I felt. <laughs> you did, you did. Sorry, Caduceus. <laughs> you did. Yeah, on the, on the, like, real, yeah. How'd it go? It went okay. It went okay. I was, I was pretty nervous. Yeah? Yeah, well, yeah. What do you mean okay, though? What's okay? No, it's good. I, uh, I, I, we kissed. <gasps> Sorry, Caduceus. Sorry. <gasps> That's so exciting. Was she like, like leaning in? Was she like into it, or was she like, okay? I don't know. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It, no, it's, she seemed happy, and, mm -hmm. and, and I, all I could just hear was my. Yeah. It was really tough. Yeah. That's that's pretty magical. Yeah. I mean, I kind of, like, I noticed, like, there was, like, a breakfast, and you guys were, like, not making eye contact in, like, a weird way. Oh. Oh, yeah. am I being weird now? No, no, no. I think it was just, like, after after that moment, and, oh. you know, you're, like, you don't want to give anything away, so you try to avoid each other, but also you're really infatuated, so it's not working. Shit. <laughs> but you did great. I got to dial it in. It's good. Why? Like, why? I don't, it's just, um, it doesn't seem like we ever get a reprieve from anything, so after the statues uh, yeah. sucked her life away, I, who knows how long we have. Yeah. Sorry, that sounded super dark. No, on that note, I kind of, we were in like, we were just walked through a creepy forest and we were like a mile beneath the earth and I kind of asked Josh on a date. What? You asked her on a date? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What she said? She said yes. She said yes. Yeah, that she was. She was like really excited. She was like, I'm happy about this because like, I don't know. There's. I just want a fresh start with Yasha because we've been through so much. I was thinking about it the other day. I've fought Yasha like four times in hand-to-hand -hand combat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really did. It, like, we've had more physical contact through beating the shit out of each other than anything else. Mm -hmm. So it kind of feels like there's like a little bit of this like um, past baggage. Past I don't know. Some memory, yeah. Yeah. I'm with you, yep. So it just felt like maybe Maybe a date, but kind of full disclosure, the last time I went on a date, like growing up, my idea of a date was to get tipsy and then commit a B&E and then get more tipsy and then maybe in the night with blackmail depending on how the B&E went. Wow, your romantic life is really unique. Yeah, yeah. You're, uh, date, you're gonna go on a date like now? Well, it's the same thing, we could die tomorrow. True. We could die at any point, and I think. Um, Why don't you just, like, you know, go have a picnic by the lava or something? Well, <laughs> peek my head out to Lucian. That's not. Right. That's creepy. Hmm. Yeah. I look at Lucian. Is he blinking yet? Lucian! <laughs> Oh, my Olga. <laughs> he kind of like sits up a bit. Good. It's weird. I know. I know. Anyway, I figure I could just, um, 
I don't know, next time we're in the tower. Yes. Make some adjustments, sure. you know, have like a little quiet night, have some dinner, eat some bugs. Yeah, you just gotta find like a, a quiet spot. Like, what's, what's above our rooms? Just go to the very top. I'm sure there's like a moonlit, That's starry a night you could take advantage of. I yeah. wonder if Caleb would lend out his like penthouse, you know, his upper He's floor, because we've never seen it. There. Of course, just sneak up. It'll be super romantic, and it'll be like a B and E <laughs> without getting fucked up and everything. Oh my God, this is the best. Go with I what can. you know. Go with what you know. Okay, okay. I kind of like this. Okay. I kind of like this. All right. All right. You have the best ideas. Hey, good job. Thanks, Captain. I got this. All right. In the rush of it, attempting to swoop down. Caduceus goes down a little quicker than you thought, and Yasha, you trip and end up going over, and you 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 hit it, and just pushing through the pain, you continue to push forward and kick up over and land, but as you do, your leg, Whoa. and you hear Yasha's yell scream out in the midst of this. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and roll some damage here. Remember Vax's foot? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Stay alive. Yeah. Stay alive. And 50 points that. of fire damage to you reduced to half, so 25. Each other that you would you stay, stay alive. alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucked. And that sucked. Lucian, are you sure you know where you're going? You know, these lands are a bit strange. Uh huh. And I think we're all trying to guide each other in a very incorrect direction. No, no, we're all following you as the de facto <laughs> leader. We are not all following each other, we're following you. I don't know, it seems like quite a bit of you are making your own paths as well. Yes, I'm lost, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a dick about it. <laughs> She's like, oh, she like, like this I about know. everything. Douchebag delusion. I like, it I like it more. You do, you do see, like, he is filled with frustration. He, this is the first time he's, the first time he's had to show a little bit of limitation and he's not happy about it. Like it. Oh, relatable. He's mortal. I like it. He's like this a lot. It's okay. Now, now, we, know it. now we know what to get him for winter's grass. Yeah, it's like a hazing yeah, that's a like It's like a hazing oh, process. That would be so fucking salty. Oh <laughs> all the eyes. <laughs> well, we've all had a day. Let's go ahead and bed down. What depths of your imagination? Angel Blood is a cool nickname. Uh, I can't call her the name, little mad man. Just. <laughs> sure, yeah. I'm curious. Yeah. 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 I. I want to see where it goes. And also. I feel like we can save him. I don't know if that's very naive of me to think that. I don't think so. It's okay to have hope. Yeah. Just like rest. Yeah. It's tough. It's easier to hate somebody the less you know about them. Facts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want to fax yeah. somebody? Yes. You all enter to a more comfortable space within Widow Guest's nine sided tower. Hmm. Uh, I misspoke, uh, not locked, but is closed. So once we're all together in the center chamber, I uh, look up at the iris and say, Auf. It goes, <sighs> and as soon as that happens, you see um, almost like you are looking into a sea of stars. Um, and we start to float up inside. And anyone who dove into the, uh, the beacon will recognize the uh, uh, the experience you feel in this room, which is all illusion, but uh, looking around the room, you see uh, just sort of layer upon layer upon layer of vision, and you see your own self, many of you, walking along arcs and paths and breaking into multiple versions of you. Wow. And it is, 
you can see the floor and you see a hole in in this void that we're in. And we're just sort of hovering. But when you look out to the sides and up, it just goes forever and ever and ever. Good room to think. Yeah. This is incredible. Wow. You guys should. What? It's fascinating. Wow. What are you. Efficient. Is there a dessert, by the way? Uh, that is <laughs> what we do best here. Are you in the mood for something? <laughs> Great. I think it's time. I think you get your little kitties to bring us some fine treats, if you don't mind. Casper, Bruno, bring out uh, the final course and then dessert. And they're going to come out and bring out the final spread. I just look over at Yasha and I go, mockingly. <laughs> you glance back and Lucy's looking right at you. What's up? <laughs> okay. I'll take first watch. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to sit up uh, against the door and just kind of sleep. Okay. All right. I take the bed. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna get straight eight hours of sleep. This is a fantasy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow. Is it doing anything? Not for me. I'm, I'm gonna get to go into our little sack. I have a little alchemical uh, acid. Uh, uh, with your permission, uh, Caleb, can I just sort of try to etch it out? <laughs> if it's just on the surface? Um. Yes. So I'm just. <laughs> you go first. It might hurt. I could. I'm actually. You know what? Maybe I should do it to Bo. It's gonna hurt, and he's not really great with pain. I. I want to go on record and say I don't think this is gonna work, and I really would like you to not fuck up my hand. I. This is what I do everything with. I punch. I. Your I hand punch model? people. <laughs> oh, you oh, I smash see, I see. that into things that nobody else should be smashing yeah, their hand if into. Yeah, she won't want to hit things with it. She'll try to protect so it. so cool. You're gonna hold it up, have a big scar, and right. people won't want to fuck with you. A tiny. Can you can do a tiny, a tiny portion. A tiny portion. Of course, of course. Yeah, but what if this? What? what, what, what hold, hold on. What, what if this affects? You know, if something, if we have to fight something, and you're you're not fully, at, you know, up to par. I don't know. Can I try to? Can I try to heal it? Sure. See what happens. I'm going to try to cast Greater Restoration on the eye. Whoa. Okay. Go ahead and mark off the cost. Oh right. Ooh. Wait. Uh, hundred diamond gold dust. dust. Diamond dust. Okay. Let me make sure I have it. I know. I I know I have it. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab Bo's hand and just start, just trying to rub it off. <laughs> I know it's not gonna do anything. <laughs> <laughs> just rub one out real quick. <laughs> rub it out real quick. Yeah. I could use both hands. I only need one though. You're using. Yeah. You can just do it one hand real hand fast. <laughs> real quick. Mm. <laughs> Speed of 50. <laughs> don't need, don't, don't need. <laughs> Haste! Honestly, don't even need the hands. <laughs> Take 15 points of bludgeoning damage as the tail <clears throat> cracks you across the back of the shoulders and the neck. You hear like a slight snap of something, a tendon or muscle, and you're just like, oh, holding on best you can Ooh. as wind's just whipping around you. The cold is now causing your face and arms to go numb, mm -hmm. your abs exposed, usually very good against the weather right now, are starting to fail. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, that finishes. <laughs> usually very good. <laughs> Yasha. It's true. Hey, Yasha. Yeah. Look him right in the dragon. Do you see me? Do you see you me? You look so good. Thanks, dude. You're quaking and crying with fear. Do I look cool though? <laughs> you look so cool. You look so hot. <laughs> that was the inner Cree. monologue we just heard. Cree darts up next to you. Well, I'm gonna hit it. Uh, natural twenty. Hell yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. Bring her down. Okay. Come on. Come on. Big money. Big money. Record for the best. That's okay. Uh, yeah. With 16 plus 7 Come is on, 21. 23. 23. Zero stats is off. 
Mm. Can I spend a key point to do another one for that last one? Yeah, you can because you can spend you can take additional reactions. So the, you, it. you it, the tail missed and as you kicked it off. You actually <laughs> kick it at one of its its joints Sorry, and you hear a bone kind of <laughs> crack. And as the tail pulls back, there's a kink in it. You actually managed to damage the tail by kicking it off. Ooh. You last round. I'm sure I'm gonna throw the sword. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the skin gorger. Okay, so you just chuck it. Skin gorger. Roll an attack with disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say it weird? Yeah. Roll with a disadvantage? disadvantage. Of course. You can reckless if you want to can cancel it, but it's up to you. Uh, this was cocked. Cocked again, I'm not going to roll that. Oh. Um, <laughs> that is amazing, because that's two ones. <laughs> oh my Are God. you serious? I'm dead serious. <laughs> wow, it's going tonight. <sighs> Beauregard. Oh no. Oh, oh. No. Oh, no. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm kidding. <laughs> two, two ones. I still have patient defense. No, you do. You do. Is double ones on that? Ugh, I can't. I can't not do something with that. It's double yeah, ones on this. Yeah, you have to. Um, gotta. You have to. Got a double one. You do have double to. Double ones. Just roll, roll two attack rolls again with the, roll attack roll again with disadvantage. Perfect yin and yang to your, your previous 20s. double twenties. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Where were you? Eighteen. <laughs> and a five. Plus. Plus. Something. What am I adding? I'm sorry. Adding your attack bonus. Attack bonus. Oh, uh, 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 with the disadvantage one. Yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. So thankfully, you skin gorger goes wide, and Beauregard, you see it kind of, and you just parry out of the way as it arcs off and disappears into the snow somewhere in the distance. You just want to go on a date, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. I'm just trying to. <sighs> Look Roller cool, like you. Black have worked on that, by the way. <laughs> She's got Zilla yelling over it all. Advantage <laughs> 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 because you have patient defense still. No, no, because you took your turn. I, I didn't. Right. I did, okay. I did flurry of blows. That is a sad. twenty-three to hit. Uh huh. That so, hits. what are you doing up there? <clears throat> okay, probably up until now. Yeah, this is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. Twenty points of slashing damage from one claw. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, that is a 25 to hit. Yep. You take another 16 points of slashing damage. And what happens is the claw begins to pull and drag you off the side of the neck, and as it does, the head pulls back. And it, you know, the one thing you see is just the teeth in the mouth open up, these icicles in the back of the throat. You have this up close look at the inside of Geladon's mouth, and it is just like this frozen hellscape with this dull blue glow at the very base of the gullet before it disappears in the darkness. Ooh. And that is going to be a 28 to hit. You just, last thing you hear is me go, not again. You're going to get swallowed? Oh no. Again. You're gonna get swallowed? That, that changes know. things. Uh, that the be... head can reach that far back? Did you say it was. It, no, he, is it a bite? Was I grappled? Water. This is No, no, you weren't grappled. I wasn't grappled. No. Okay. I'm, just, I'm narrating the attack. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. Uh, that is. <laughs> uh, 17 points of piercing damage. Plus. 16 points of cold damage. How you Where you doing? at? Where you at? Where you at? But she's not swallowed. No, just okay. horrible. Now, now you see Rick her like, fuck. like chomped into Geladon's mouth. You can see like it crush into the sides of her body and leg. For a moment, all you can see is one arm and part of a leg, and then as yeah, the, the teeth get down. pulled apart slightly, oh, you see Bo God. like pushing out of the mouth and then managing to pull out of the side and is like holding on to the like side of Geladon's head now. Holding on to like her nostril. There's just blood like, all over her like body, her but the blood is now like freezing to her from the the sheer cold and proximity of Geladon's mouth. There's like blood sickles left. beginning to drop and freeze 17. off the sides of her arm. One seven, yeah. Blood sickle, I haven't used that phrase ever. Blood sickle, cool. blood sickle. I like that. Um, and Geladon's gonna fly 80 feet that way. Oh shit. To escape. Oh no. We need to go on hot pursuit. You can. It's okay. Do we want to go on? Are we, are, do we? What, what are we doing? I mean, dragon we, going away, very good. Going away with you in its mouth, very bad. Well, I can. Lucian. Lu, Lucian's turn is like Lucian goes. Ah, well, that's a good turn of fate. Let him have her. <gasps> and he goes and like puts the oh. swords. Shh, onto the side and is like considering this a done battle. No, no, it is no letter have her. Then Mr. someone go catch her. 
I'm gonna start running. <clears throat> we're still in. Are we okay. still in initiative order? order? We're still in initiative yeah. order here. Okay. Um, with that, Lucian and Typhle. This is just gonna I go ready. so great. Who am I on? I'm on Yasha. You're on Yasha. Yeah, you are. Who are you grabbing? And I am also going to cast Sea Invisibility for an hour just because who fucking knows. Okay, you got it. I'm going to just pull out my staff and ready it so I can do some cool monk shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beat some heads from the air. Okay. Um, I am an owl, so I won't take anything out. Oh, fair enough, that's right. <laughs> I forgot, I was like, I'm gonna ready, I'm not gonna do it. Death anything. has mage hand. Any type of swoops you wanna do, and I can. Great. Yeah, okay. All right. If they get him, Lesser half. I say, Lucian succeeds. Fuck, we go mailbox batting. Cree. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Cree succeeds. You, you get and in the feathers Lucian and I'll, I'll go. Okay, okay, Soren. okay. Soren. Lucian, with, with yep. that glare. I think a 30 hits you. Make yeah. constitution saving throw for me. 30. Shit. This is probably going to be really bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. 10 total. As you all swoop around and gather those who are nearby and can see, you watch as Lucian, after Grinning with a glare, reaches out and grabs Beauregard by the throat and lifts her an inch or two off the ground. Oh boy. You watch as blood begins to pour from her eyes, her mouth, her ears, her nose. Your brain is filled with a searing pain you have never experienced in your life. Oh boy. <laughs> That's not good. That's like an insta death thing or something. It's not great. Better not be. I'll kill him. <laughs> oh man, that would be weirdly poetic. Kill your friend for your friend. A lot of effort. Still more. You take 69 points of psychic damage. Nice. Nice. <laughs> what is it again? 69, 69 points Six of nine. psychic damage. And he kind of just holding you there goes, is this really how you want this to go? And just holds her up there. Your your vision is just white searing pain right now at the moment. The other hand, he pulls the sword out and runs kind of the back of it across oh. his stomach, where the cloak is now open, the heavy fur exposing kind of his, his midsection and the loose, low cut shirt. And as it runs the blood, you can see the blade begin to sh shimmer with that same kind of weird, glowing, almost iridescent coloration. That's going to end his turn as he begins to step back a bit. Pulling you with him, this direction, kind of walking. Um, that brings. Okay. What are you doing, Yasha? I'm I am going to. Um, I need it for something. I'm going to try to swoop down and grab Bo, out of, out of that area. Okay. Is there anything I can do on my end to try and like, grab and? Will this to happen? Make your shoulders more. I will say yeah, because loops on my because arm. you cannot see in the darkness, you do not see the owl in the air, and you have taken so much unexpected damage in the past round that you are semi dazed. So I will say, unfortunately, you cannot aid in this, but okay. everything anything's possible. So as you <laughs> you turn as fast as you can on a dime, whoosh, as the owl then go into a swoop, striking down. I need you to go ahead and make a. Strength checks. So roll a d20 and add one. Fourteen. Lucian rolled low. He's not super strong, if you recall Molly's physical I statistics. Do remember. <laughs> you snatch Beauregard out of Lucian's hand, and as you pull her away this direction for the rest of your 60 feet to about there. Okay. No, we just got to get Caleb and is there, There's nothing else I can do as the owl, right? I can't. Yeah, your do action my... was to pull her out. Okay, that's a great action. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Say your turn, Beauregard. Can I do anything else? 
You're, I mean, if you have anything else to do while you're being held by an owl. That was my you, action. Patient defense in, in the owl's I grasp. Guess I, yeah, could, could I do that? Could I if you use a key defense? point to bonus action it, because you used your action. Okay, oh, really? yeah, or I will do that. Or vice versa, yeah, you can do that, since we drink potions as bonus actions. I'll be on my guard as I hang limply yeah. in the arms of an yeah, owl. We should go that. In the arms of the angel. Go for the bag or something. <laughs> what are you at? Clutch. 27 points. Yikes. Yeah, I was down to 13. Can you carry me? Yeah. Can she carry me? Yeah. I'll allow it. I'm jumping on. Come on. This is not how I thought our date would go. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. This will be more than enough date. I'm casting. Us. How close are all of we right now? Shut the fuck I reach up. out uh, to Bo and um, cast Healing Hands. Aww. Okay. Um, so you restore 13 points. Great. I'll mm-hmm. take it. Low perception. With disadvantage. With disadvantage. That was an 18. Let's see how much more terribly I do. Much more terribly. Eight total. You're the best look you can, but you're all really tired and on the edge of frostbitten. Kind of like nodding and off. And you're starting to nod off as you. In between. I'm trying to, trying to stay up. And then. Okay, Chester is one. Oh, it just kind of subconsciously falls over and lines her head on Yasha's shoulder. I give her some her slates. Yeah, Did he no, commit a crime? Like, is he going to be under arrest too? Oh. Yeah, that was my. That was going to be my question. That is a two-way door, I would imagine. Wait, break uh, break this down for me because I feel like I know h- h- half of this because I was in and out mentally. Yeah, you've been. Yeah. Xenoth paid your dad, or your dad paid my dad paid Xenoth to let you into the soul. To take me away from him. <laughs> he didn't want to deal with me. Okay. I sent her to boarding school. Sent me to boarding school, exactly. A boarding school that normally doesn't accept payment. It was a school admission scandal? Is that what is that what just happened? <laughs> Correct. That is <laughs> from a on, privileged elite. You're on the rowing team? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He told Holy me, shit. he told me like, tell them you're a great rower, and I was like, I've never fucking rowed in my life. And you took a picture while they drew you, like. Yeah, there's no fucking rivers in Komorda. <laughs> <laughs> is that what your, st- your staff is, is an oar? <laughs> <laughs> Big backstory reveal. You dragon. You dragon. Holy shit. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, I, I was a lot, I was a lot to deal with. Bit of an embarrassment to my father, specifically, and he didn't know what to do with me. I got in trouble with the local law enough, and I, I, I never questioned it. I guess I, I just got so used to thinking that that's money motivates people, right? Mm-hmm. Some people. Good to know not everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need to be comforted? Do you need to well, be held in some big, strong arms? Will it make you feel better? Um, group hug. Group hug? Yeah. Sure, oh. group hug. <laughs> Were you just going to inca- cast enlarge on her or something? Or? <laughs> <laughs> I just hold myself. <laughs> just the arms. <laughs> <laughs> the self hug is two twenty twenty. Um. Um. While Caleb is futzing with that, I completely disregard his focus and uh, just start talking to him in the middle before everyone goes to bed. Okay. We're at, I wait for people to like clear into their chambers. Want to try and get a quiet moment, okay. Caleb? Work. Uh, real quick. Work. Can I, uh, just two seconds. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, so tomorrow night, if we're gonna be in Nicodranas, mm-hmm. I kind of like to do the date thing, you know, with with Yasha. Yeah, let me uh, do the math on that. Uh huh. So I was just wondering if you know, 
yeah, we're going to be in Nicodronas, but I kind of have this big idea for the tower. If we could still borrow it for the night. The whole tower? Yeah. <laughs> you want the whole tower? Well, I mean, other people can, you know, like, you know, but, but like, it, I, no, no, no. It, I, I'm like, into if other it. People want to, like, t- t- you know, stay in their rooms, but as long as they stay in their rooms. But I don't have to, you know, I don't what want to be. What if you took the whole tower? I would love to take the whole tower. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk the others into uh, using a uh, the material plane, hmm. or the dome, or something. It's a lavish chateau. We'll be, we'll be there. Yeah. I'll pay for everyone's room if people will fuck off so that we could use the tower. Okay. Well, you could fuck off. It's one requirement. <laughs> yeah. Do not go poking about the eighth floor. I promise you I will not go poking about the eighth floor. Okay, good enough. Hey, uh, if I wanted to make some adjustments to it, how do I like get those <laughs> to you? Do I like, should I write them down and... <laughs> you know, just like the little tweakies, the little, just or, little ones for the night, yeah, just sure. for the night. Um, do you want to write those out for me? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. And I'll just slide it over to you. Uh, get it to me in the morning. Okay, okay. And I will, you know, think on it, process it, get it ready. Thank you. With the old imagination. Can the cats be ninjas? <laughs> <laughs> just like five of them, not all of them. <laughs> there's, there's a few ways to interpret that. Do you want cat ninjas, or do you want ninjas instead of cats? Because <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. I don't like to tinker with the the size of the um, the transportation system for them, so I would prefer that most of them be smaller ninjas, okay. if they're to be ninjas. But maybe you mean ninja cats. Well, I don't want to feel like I'm punting a cat. I want to be able to, like, you know, just f- t- uh, have fun fighting some ninjas. You want to fight, fight ninja. <laughs> okay. Okay. Five of them. So top of the list. <laughs> That's fucking big. Shinobi That's in the big. tower. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. I have a bunch of other stuff too. Not a bunch, just like a handful of other things. I want to fight. Some <laughs> okay. Okay. It can be done. Okay. But sleep great, on it. Great date. Right. <laughs> Tell me if you need the cats removed for the evening. I've got an idea for that. Okay. You don't have to. I just need it by the morning. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah, of course. Are you cool? You good? Yeah. Yes. I'll let you get back to work. Okay. I've almost got it. Don't stay up too long. It's been a never-ending day. Promise I'm about to turn in. I spend the next hour working on it. Okay. All right. I'll slink back to my chambers. Eventually, you all find yourselves in your respective rooms, resting in the comfort of the Cobalt Soul Archive of Rex and Trip. It takes you the better part of a day, you know, early afternoon or so, and eventually, after asking some questions, you get sent to this small alleyway purveyor of odd knickknacks and, and mashed materials given as, as various healing pastes and balms. Um, you can see him kind of arranged on the edge of this cart that's wedged into the shadows. Uh, the gentleman there has this large kind of red-orange tuft of a beard at the end of his chin. He's scrawny and kind of leaning forward with long arms that kind of rest at the edge of the cart. He pulls himself forward out of the shadow and looks towards you with this paper hat and goes, Can I help you? Are you looking for something? Uh, yes. Uh, hello. Um... I, I, I'm looking for something um, that could, I don't know if it's a, a, maybe a potion or maybe a, a necklace or, or a, some, of some sort, but where someone couldn't see you. Is that a th- Now there are many types of not being seen. Are you trying to avoid the sight of things from all over or from far away, immediate or distant? Well, distant? So avoiding, avoiding the wandering eyes of divination. Correct. Well, and he pulls out this small kind of uh, balm vial, roughly about the size of a hockey puck or so, and 
opens it up a bit and goes, if this is placed upon your person, smeared into the skin and soaks within, for the next hour, you will be avoiding any sort of prying magical eyes from a distance, immune to being scryed upon. <laughs> How much is that? This, or uh, 1,500 gold. Oh, jeez. Okay. It seems grossly expensive. <laughs> that feels grossly expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's a particular purpose. <clears throat> Do you have two? Is this for one person or is this? Uh... Well, this is for one person. Single use? Hmm? Is it single use or is it like? Yeah. Can o uh... disappearing gel. Uh, looking at it, it probably only has a handful of uses. It only lasts for an hour. Even though you aren't the most practiced bargainer, even this seems a bit high. And as far as Crying goes, and your experienced jester, it may not be exactly what you're looking for as far as invisibility. It just says Ben Gay on it. Yeah. yeah. It's a long time with Tiger Ball. I think this is not exactly what I'm looking for. It's also a what? little high in price, so well, I think I'm going to. Prices are uh, uh, relative to who wants it. And he goes and tucks it away back underneath the edge of the cart. What about a thousand gold? Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Deal. Yeah. I'll buy it. Yeah. He scoots it forward to you happily, grins with a uh, a mouth filled with darkened gums and oh teeth where they've receded from a bit, so the mouth just seems extra wide. His eyes can appear through from underneath his, his long paper hat and appreciate your patronage. Scoops the gold over. Anything it, else Theodore can do for you? Uh, no, but um, if this doesn't work, um, I expect to get my money back, and if not... Oh, sales are fine. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. I'd like to buy uh, a lovely flower, like a silver flower. A silver flower. Or white, or anything. White's easier. Sure. Uh, <laughs> a silver yeah. flower could be done if it's painted. Um, but yeah, white flower you find for two copper. I was kind of wondering the, the market and uh, sort of bump, bump into Veth while looking for uh, flowers mm -hmm. as well. Oh, what are you doing here? What? Well, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, I just bought a flower. It's uh, really nice and pretty. It's a very, it's a gorgeous, what kind of flower is that? I didn't ask. Huh. Um, I'm not very good with this stuff. What do you think of these other flowers? Oh. I mean, they're all nice. Mm -hmm. I got this one for you, though. Wait, what? Why? Well, I thought you could give it to Yasha. Really? Mm-hmm. I was here looking for flowers for Yasha. Are you okay? I'm okay, I just love you so much. Give it a hug. Oh, I'm in your belly button now. Hey, you are. <laughs> it's a beautiful flower. It's big. I, I know. thought maybe you could talk to Jester and she could make it into some sort of corsage thing, or I don't know. Mm. I don't know what girls like. What do you think of this bow tie over here at this other kiosk? <laughs> bow tie? Yeah, this guy over here is. Here, just. It's like a hound's tooth. Oh, I'll take a look. Situ what do you think? It's blue. I j is it for you? Hound's tooth is a lot, isn't Are it? Are you for you? Like I, to dress up? Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought I like a gift. It's a weird thing to give a bow tie. No, no, it's for me. Oh, then I think it's excellent. Yeah. Let's see if they have it in like turquoise or something. Yeah, just if the navy probably clashes a bit. No, I don't know. I no, I think it looks good. Do you Let me see it on. Do you have it in turquoise? Um. <laughs> <laughs> it can be acquired. Priceless. <sighs> I don't want to wait for a commission. Just do the this blue. This navy's do good. The blue. You don't have to wait for a commission. It's I just fine. have to check down the street. No, I got no, friends. Uh, you uh, have. Uh, okay. Oh, you got no, no. It's really. Never mind. Get out of my place, then. Jeez. <laughs> 
That guy's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Thought the customer was always right, but <laughs> I think it looks very distinguished. Okay. And smart, and not trying too hard. It's just like a little. Okay. I'll take it. I'll pay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Way to come out on top. <laughs> That'll be eight silver. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's just his speaking voice. <laughs> uh, sure. Here you go. Thank take you. ten. <laughs> take ten. I sort of asked Yasha out on a date. So did I. <laughs> I kind of knew. I'm sneaky that way. And I'm excited for you. Do you think you're going to finally, you know, do it? I... Not, not it, but like go on a date. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the plan. Yeah. Do you think you're gonna do it? <laughs> <laughs> I am going into this with no expectations and on Yasha's terms and her timeline. I mean, absolutely. It's all about what Henry Crabgrass says, right? Hundred percent. Totally. Just, just consent. Let let her guide. Yeah. Guide you. But if you had your druthers. I mean. Yeah. I mean. Yeah? But we'll see. No expectations. I need a shower. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. She's, you know, oh, Jorhasian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, like, I don't think Jorhasian <laughs> ladies shave the pits or anything, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the ladies here. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you're gonna be fine. Do you think so? <laughs> yeah. I'm so nervous, dude. You've got a flower. You've got I a do. bow tie. <laughs> okay. And you've got an open heart. Mm-hmm. Whatever, whatever happens, happens. If you just talk, that's a that's a win. Yeah. What else do you, do I, do I need to, like, chocolates or something? I got the flower, I got the bow tie, is that... I, I mean, I don't think she's um, into chocolates unless, yeah. like, the chocolate-covered grasshoppers or something. Mm. But I think maybe just, just, just plan a moment. Just have a moment ready where you can say something or do something that shows how you feel. I'm trying to channel Caduceus here, but I feel like... If you open yourself and just are honest uh, and open and vulnerable, okay, you could be likable. <laughs> <laughs> I could be likable. <laughs> yeah. I could. I've planned several moments. You have? Uh-huh, I've written them down. <laughs> no way! Um, we'll see, though. Oh, you're not gonna tell me any. Thank you for your advice, Beth. <clears throat> I've gotta go find Caleb, okay, and it's just push her aside. I find Caleb coming out of the store. <clears throat> oh. Hey! I wrote down all my ideas. Oh, yes. Yes? Yeah, you, you wanted me to write them down. Let me see. Here. I hand him a thing. I hand him a piece of paper. All right, I just give it a quick look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Th what? Why? Because. You fucking know why. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, boy. They're magic. I will. They're not gonna last. It's not gonna be forever. I will. I will do it. Okay. But that's a lot, Boricard. What? How? That's a lot. How, how, how out of all the things on that list is that a lot? You wouldn't understand. I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> what are you all even talking about? <laughs> uh, uh. Oh 
man. <laughs> I am wow. so nervous. <laughs> but excited. <laughs> now, I regret to inform the majority of you and myself that we will in fact be sleeping in this shithole. Beauregard, Yasha, the tower is yours. Oh, we're doing this <coughs> tonight? <clears throat> we're doing this tonight. Oh, yes. What, 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 what are we doing tonight? I push Yasha into the door. I pull ah. out my fly. Yasha, she's gone. <laughs> you can do this. Is that Got a flower? Jet <laughs> guiding you to the door. There I'm going to go on a date. There Bye! <laughs> Stand, the go. door closes behind as the rest of you yeah. stand there in the rather cramped, unpleasant, but functional quarters for your night's rest at the behest of Caleb. <laughs> okay. No. Let me put the alarm spell on the shitty door. Yeah, 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 please, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going to do this tomorrow night. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, and we're going to take a break. <laughs> we're, we're, we're past, we're past break, break time. Yeah, that went, that went yes. a little long. My apologies. <laughs> Um, 45 yeah. more minutes to think about things. Fuck. The door slams shut behind Beauregard as the both of you stand in the bottom <laughs> of Caleb's nine sided tower, freshly renovated. Caleb, take it away. Yeah, so this is Caleb's tower, so the narration will sound a little like Caleb. Uh, but with the, very white music playing in the That's right. Well, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Welcome, Mighty Nine. Um, so you are in the uh, entryway where you have been several times. It is a very tall, uh, nine-sided Wait, chamber. Wait, is this narrated? <laughs> <laughs> like I, an airport? Yes, from over here. <laughs> no, no, I it's not. I sort of put in some requests to Caleb. I don't know how any of this is going to turn out. Art is subjective to interpretation, right? I love art, so yeah. this is perfect. This will be like a weird gallery of what I wanted and what we got. Okay. Yeah. I'm in. Okay. Do you will you go on a date with me? I thought this was gonna happen earlier. I'm kind of fast tracking things now. I yes. I would love to go on a date with you. I was thinking this was going to happen later as well, so yeah. I'm not as prepared. Me neither. I didn't take a shower. I have really bad B.O. I like B.O. I, it's great. <laughs> so I'm Drahasian. <laughs> I can't smell. Um, I'm in. Okay. I, wow. Uh, this feels weird that they're all sleeping out there and we're yeah, having a great time, but fuck it. I kind of thought this was gonna happen in like Nicodronus when like, Veth was going to be with her husband, and like Jester and Ford would go bone somewhere. I don't know. I just I thought we would it wouldn't be like a thing. Here you go. You're in, and everybody's outside. Uh huh. But um, listen. I feel like it. It, it feels like the world is ending uh, all the time. So we might yeah. as well. Yeah. <sighs> Cheers to that. Uh, let me Cheers. just get ready. Let me real quick, me and I put on it. I put on my bow tie. Okay. Just I just do a quick comb <laughs> my fingers. <laughs> you hear a bell go tingalingalingalingaling, and right down at your feet is Frumpkin the cat, and he has uh, a little silver bell that you've seen Caleb use uh, with his spell casting before, tied with a ribbon to his tail, and he just looks up at you and turns and begins to go up the spiral stairs up to the platform uh, that uh, you depart from to reach the upper regions of the tower. I think we should follow the hospitality staff. Oh, yes, uh, sir, lead the way. Please, good Frumpkin. When you uh, crest the top, there is a, an easel with a, just a little note on it that says Willkommen, and there are... Uh, it's an easel? So Airbnb. Sparse, um, not many, but black and blue uh, flower petals just sort of floating, rotating slowly in the column in the center of this chamber that uh, is used for floating up to higher regions. I can't uh, tell if I'm hot or cold, hang on. Frumpkin actually starts floating up in front of you, the bell going ding, 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 ding. I'm cold, but I'm sweating. Yeah, me too. 
and okay. as he rises above you, the iris opens, and uh, slightly different than what you've seen before, the chamber above is completely dark, and Prumpkin disappears into it. Ding, ding, ding. Wow. Uh, shall we? <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were giving me something new on my hand. I, it's been a minute. <laughs> Uh, wait, but mm, I grab the petals, oh. a couple of the petals, and I I put them in my, my book really quickly. I just want to save these. Um, okay. Uh, here's my hand. Okay. <laughs> up, up. <laughs> All right, so as the two of you uh, slowly, uh, hand in hand, float up <clears throat> through the open iris into the uh, great hall above, you ascend into darkness, and you see the uh, iris, the brass iris, close beneath you, so you're in total darkness, and you feel your feet very gently just sort of land back down on the floor, on this iris, and you're alone together, feeling each other's hands in the dark, and you see, uh, after a brief moment, a runway, of amber-colored, miniature, long-haired dachshunds come aglow in the dark like a runway, mm -hmm. leading towards, uh, in a path towards one wall in this nine-sided chamber. And Frumpkin, you see in this dim light, just walking forward and the tail going ding, 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 ding. What are these most glorious creatures? These are wiener dogs. <laughs> I think this is a wiener red carpet, but I'm trying to interpret what Caleb meant. Holy shit. Yes. I Are they cute? I reach down and I give some scritches, mm -hmm. and I just keep scritching as we walk. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick exactly one up what and- what I was hoping for. <sighs> as you make your way down uh, between these two rows of dachshunds, uh, you see two uh, of Caleb's globules slowly fade up in warm light when you draw close to one of the doors, and Frumpkin turns around, and there is a little note hanging around his neck, and it says, Eins. Uh, and you see two uh, little amber doxies pulling blue velvet sashes that are attached to the handles of double doors, because remember, there are nine sets of double doors in this chamber. Okay. And the doxies on the ground pull apart the doors. And as they do, you see what looks almost like a rolling stage of sorts coming gently sliding out of the closet space, but it has sections that are folded up and, and collapsed in weird, strange ways. And as it expands out of the closet, it begins to open up, almost like a clockwork construction or even a pop-up book. Uh, tables and chairs fold out and lock into place uh, in various ways, and you know now are looking at a trio of tavern tables. The last thing to slide into place are a familiar-looking bar, which brings in the rear, and a hanging sign that slides out, extending over, it drops, and you see a sign similar to the one you remember long ago that read, The Nestled Nook. Now, I should point out the colors of this wooden recreation are just a little more vibrant, a little more colorful than you remember, but it is unmistakably a magical fold-out recreation of the nook. One of Caleb's globules now glow intimately over each of the three tables. You notice three bottles of Lionette vintage sitting on the bar alongside some glasses, but also you hear the turn of wheels as a, a little amber doxy pulls what looks like a small sleigh on rollers out of a hole in the back of the closet uh, along a track that is extended out from that hole to the bar, and the doxy, like a little Santa, pulls a little sled out, and there are two crystal glasses on it full of uh, a, a dark amber liquid, and there's a little folded note in front of the cocktails in Widowgast, <coughs> Widowgast script that says, dark and stormy and nod oh. to our goth barbarian you surmise. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. This I, is... You know, you go first. Of... No, you. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. This is lovely. 
I, <laughs> he, re- he really outdid himself. Uh, this is just stop one. This is just stop one? I told Caleb, since I wanted to start over, I wanted to start over. So, my request was a little bit of a walkthrough of where we've been and some of our favorite hiding spots. And felt it was only appropriate to start at the nestled nook in. So, these are just a little bit of, uh, you know, pre-gaming cocktails, so don't go too crazy. I chug. (laughs) (laughs) The large chamber is shrouded in darkness. The only thing lit up is this little tavern corner, all on its own, in the void. Yeah. Yeah. um, I like your bow tie. Thank you. Veth helped me pick it out. (sighs) Boy. I, I got something today to use for this moment, but. It's not that divination cream, in it, is it? Because that might be toxic. It is. Oh! But I think <laughs> it smells weird, and I think I, 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 oh. I've been trying to keep my distance from you when I found out that he was listening and they were watching, but I just, I've had a lot of people in my head and I don't want to give them you. So. Are you talking about Lucian? Yeah. And I just, I I don't want them to see that I, that I fuck. I mean, I, that. That's not what I, that sounded weird. I, 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 I don't want them to know that I care about you. Because I don't know if they're going to use that in some way, you know? Yeah. But... (sighs) Fuck it, I guess, you know? I I really hope you don't... I, I mean, clearly you do, but you shouldn't harbor any guilt about any of our previous encounters in which you clearly weren't yourself. It's it's not that I'm trying to compare, and I, I know you've been through a lot, but I hope you know I trust you. And I don't feel like I have any right to say that what we're going into is any different because I don't know. I don't know Lucian's capabilities separate from Oban or anybody else. Um, but that, that wasn't you, and you shouldn't judge yourself as if it was. I try not to. I think it's... It's getting easier, but um, I still am haunted every night with the look on your face when I almost killed you. But I still think of the look on your face when I 
bruise the fuck out of your eye, punching the shit out of you. Um, <laughs> trying to get you to snap out of it. They're not pleasant memories, Yasha. It's funny, we don't have uh, a lot of pleasant memories, it seems. But we've all come together and tried to make some. Here's to making some more tonight. Absolutely. Last time we were here in the nestled nook, Lucian was still Molly. God, I miss him so bad. I don't think I ever got the story of how the two of you met, but let's save that for location number two. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Frumpkin. There is a little note hanging under his uh, chin, and it says "Svi." And uh, time to number two. What? Oh, that's two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. The entire room goes dark again, and you sit in darkness for a moment. And little amber doxies boom, 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 lead away from the uh, tavern where you are. You surmise back towards the center of the room, and Frumpkin just strolls along, inviting you behind him. Uh, as you make your way behind the cat, uh, you start to hear the sound of little rollers again, and um, globules floating closer to the ceiling start to still dim, but light up, and you see those uh, tracks like aqueducts that run all around the walls that the normally cats uh, travel through, uh, have little doxies uh, running all along them, and uh, you see a curtain or drape being pulled all around the entire room, different pieces being stretched out until you see um, black and blue wildflowers painted on this backdrop surrounding you all around the room. And the curtain undulates gently, giving the uh, effect of flowers blowing in the wind. And as you reach the center of the room and you hear just a little more tinkle of the bell, you see a picnic blanket sitting in the center and there is a little uh, basket with a black and blue checkered cloth in it, and there are tacos with uh, uh, fish and insects. Some of them yeah. still moving. Uh, Just my favorite. There is another basket with several more bottles of Lionette wine. Um, and as you reach the picnic blanket and sit down, um, you see a few doxies running in different directions across the room, and long green silks get pulled across the entire floor, and those undulate as well. And as you sit there, it's art and pageantry, but it does create the effect of sitting in a field of wildflowers, and the globules of light are dim, and it feels like the early part of evening. This is so beautiful. <laughs> it's like living in a painting. Yeah. <laughs> Tacos? <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> yes. I furl out the blanket, lay it down, crack up a bottle of wine. Oh, yes, I'm very uh, excited to try. This is a good year. My father he had a rough time this year. A lot of barrels wasted due to a giant flood that came into the vineyard. So only the ones that were on the top most shelf were the ones that were able to survive. So so that's limited. Very few bottles of this. I mean, I mean, seems like a magical creation. We'll see how it does. I'm in. Pour two glasses. So how did you and Molly meet? Well, when I 
was going through the uh, wastes of Jorhas when I was um, not quite myself for weeks or maybe a month, however long it was, I don't know. Um, when I finally came to, I, um, he was the first person that I saw. Um, and he was so beautiful. I, I had been in just, there was no color, there was no life, there was no... anything out there in the, in, in the way St. Jorhas, and then when I saw him, ah, he was a kindred spirit. <laughs> and he introduced me to everybody in the circus, and they took me in. And him and I were the best of friends, and I was weird, and he was weird. We all were weird. <laughs> and he just completely accepted me for who I was, and he didn't ask any questions. But he changed my life in a very big way. But that's how we met. He was the first person I saw in, I don't know, uh, however long I was. I mean, obviously not including Oban and whatever happened with that during that time, but. <sighs> that's how we met. I hope you feel like we've been your new circus. Yeah. Accepted by all of us weirdos. Yeah. I... Is it not the same? It is... better. In what way? There's a, a closeness that we all have that I haven't experienced with a, a group of people like this before. I care about everyone so deeply, and I feel that love back. And I loved everyone in the circus they were all so full of life and you know but everyone in our group is family and that's something i i didn't ever quite have i'll never forget <laughs> seeing you for the first time at the circus and the crazy... I think I carried you? You did. <laughs> <laughs> I... Uh, why? Why did I carry you? Because you were trying to confis confiscate everyone's weapons and I didn't want you to take my staff, so... So I pretended that I was injured and, and Jester was like, oh yeah, she's she's got a, a hurt leg. Oh, got so a lamp. trying to help you in and it I, was super yeah, that's dumb. right. She saw through my bullshit real quick. I, I didn't. I thought you were hurt, I think. You did didn't? not. There was no way. I, I mean, if you want to like make me feel good now, feel, that's, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I may have been distracted with things, but I 
I remember when I saw all of you, it was... Boy, that day changed everything. It's interesting you talking about Molly being this burst of color in your monochromatic life because part of the reason you stood out like a sore thumb is because you were this black and white and gray monochromatic vision amongst this fairy tale of color. You hear a squeaky wheel in the distance. <laughs> And out of the darkness, at one single little doxy comes with one of those little sleds behind him. And there is a little stack of um, black moss cupcakes on it. And he just stops in front of Yasha and just looks up. There they are, yes! <gasps> black moss cupcakes! Oh my god. Yeah? This is just the greatest hit. Had to, you know, all Ooh. the greatest hits. Scritchies! Isn't, aren't they the best? Oh, I just love them. Oh, these so much buddies. <laughs> I know you like dogs. Oh, I just love them. I just can't get enough. I just, oof. Caleb got a little bugged out about me turning the cats into dogs. Really? I know. Well, I mean, it kind of makes. She would add, add them to the mix. I love cats, but yeah. dogs. Ugh, I just like a love cats them. and dogs living together in harmony. That's, yes. That's traitors. We should pitch that to him. Traitors, both. I think so. <laughs> Uh, ch cheers to black moss cupcakes, I guess. Mm. So how are you doing? <laughs> I know that's kind of a loaded question, but... I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. Yeah. Hearing the news from Udala yesterday about how they're prosecuting the Cobalt Soul members that were responsible for my uh, being there. I don't know. It gave me a, a resolve and a sense of purpose and assurance that I didn't know I was looking for. Hmm. Felt like it kind of cleared away any final reservations I had with the reserve, and... I mean, I'm, I'm still my regular skeptic self, but... It was good to hear that not all of bureaucracy will stand for that type of bullshit. Yeah. Hey. I just want you to know, just before we continue this, whatever this night is, that I, I have no expectations, and at the end of all of this, if it just, you have the reassurance of knowing that I'm somebody that you can come and talk to if you need to, and that's, that's enough for me. Thank you for saying that. I. I feel the same way. But at the same time... I... Things really changed for me when we went to Komorda. And... I saw you with your family. And I got a glimpse into a, how your world was when you were growing up, and I... Uh, I fell in love with you in Komorda. I 
I look at the dachshunds behind me. I just, <laughs> that just came out so fast and I didn't know that was gonna come out right then. Um, I say that, I, I don't, I, I, I don't, who? I don't have expectations either, but I really care about you and I just, I hope, if anything, that you know I'm, I'm so proud of the person that you've become. Just seeing where you started and where you are now and you have completely done that on your own. And I just, I'm, you blow me away. Feelings mutual. You could have left at any time. You kept coming back to this group. Why? <sighs> you guys are the only family that I have. And I think, um, I am so scared. When I was in Comorda, that fear of losing this family, I almost sabotaged it just so that I wouldn't have to deal with the angst and the anguish of wondering if and when and how this family will fall apart. Like ripping off a band-aid that was never there. Or I guess over a wound that was never there. Just tried to rip it off for the pain and nothing else. relatable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... I'm so scared to lose everyone. I think that's why I kept showing up. Also trying to kill everybody, so that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> I just... I don't want to lose anyone. Because I... I don't know if I could survive that again. But I feel like it, people keep asking me, like, what's your purpose? You know, when Lucian asked me that, and I'm like, I, I don't know. I feel like it's just to protect, to try to keep everybody safe and alive. That's why you're my favorite. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> <sighs> oh, I want to kiss you so bad. I want to kiss you so bad. Okay. I was about to ask you. I jump all over. I kiss her! <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Just like there cupcakes are, are on the side of the wall. <laughs> Make it a mess. Seven areas left untouched. Yeah, I'm. No. Uh, floofs. Floofs. Get away. Wait. J okay, go, go. You're, shoot. Uh, Graham. No, get, get, get. Oh, where are the dogs? I forgot the dogs. Oh, get in your face. But, yeah. uh, Yasha, as you guys entangle yourselves and roll over the place, you hear a little jingle and look over, and Frumpkin is there staring at you with a very oh. blank stare on his face. I smack I, Caleb on the back. You're not here. <laughs> I'm not controlling this. This was set going. You see another little placard hanging under Frumpkin's face, and it says dry, which you know very well by now from hanging out with Caleb is the Zemnian word for three. But then the card falls away, and it says the common word, die and all the globules of light blaze 
squeeze as bright as they can, and the flowery curtain all around the room drops and spills down to the floor, and all of the nine double doors in this entire room are open and filled with what look like amber, leather-clad, uh, humanoid figures with Doberman pincer heads. Yes, Beauregard, these are the ninjas you requested. Yes! <laughs> I need you both roll Let's initiative. <laughs> It's on the list, motherfucker. Oh, shit, it's so bad. Okay. Such a bad roll. Oh, I get advantage. It's, it's the fucking same. I rolled two nines, which is appropriate. Nine. So plus three, it's 12. twelve. Sixteen. Sixteen. Alrighty. So we have Boas up first, <laughs> then the the Dobermans. <laughs> And Yasha. Bo, what are you gonna do? All nine of them are now rushing in from all sides. So I'm kind of like on top of Yasha, right? Because we were in like the middle of this like heated makeout. So as I'm like kind of straddling her, I'm like, sorry, babe. I've gotta handle these ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> and without like really moving much, I just kind of like yes. cartwheel off of her into a standing position, oh. and I take out my staff, and I do like a really extra flourish for no real reason, and then I go after the ninjas. Go for it. With the, my staff. Go for it, you're, you're attacking just the- like, But it's like really like Jedi, like. Oh yeah. I'm kind of, yeah, I'm like. Right. So three flourish. Yes, I bet, yeah, like putting on, um. <laughs> um yes. Nonsensically, yes. yeah. Full on episode three flourish, nonsensical, none of this would hit. Go for it. But. First one's coming at you right now. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Oh, so scary. Oh, oh god, that is <laughs> a, and I rolled like shit. For me, which is funny. 17? 17 still hits. All right. <laughs> Next <Dobermans>. one. <laughs> That's a natural 17 for a total of 29. All right. Go ahead. Uh, don't even worry about damage. <laughs> a pop. The first one runs to you. Whack! You hit the first one that comes at you as you hit it. Poof, it explodes in a spray of. Would be uh, uh -huh. black and blue glittering illusory dust <laughs> off that yes. side. And I Second just one. Turn my hair in the glitter, so I kind of look at Yasha and I go for the second one. Whoosh! Like a fake faint. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the staff goes through the second one without even looking. That one just gets bisected. You watch as it <laughs> scatters into more glitter dust around wow. you. I take some of the glitter dust and I just like smear it across my face. Ooh, that's gonna be there for years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Herpes in oh the no. world. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in my. The remaining seven come rushing in. A <laughs> oh, pop pop. Flurry of blows. Go for it. <laughs> Before their turn comes. For those oh, key points. Hey, okay, yeah, all, all, all the key all points. Going to bed. In okay. theory. Okay. Um, that is a uh, 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 sorry twenty total. Yeah, that hits. And a fifteen total. Fifteen also hits. Okay. Um, so I am going to take my staff and I do like a spin and I toss it in the air and I go a pop pop and then I catch it. They both just yeah. explode into glitter dust. Yes. You catch the staff mid it. With Babe, that. I need might need help with these niches. <laughs> <laughs> Babe. 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 Babe, I got a ninja problem. <laughs> uh, let me uh, help you exterminate. As you uh, begin to stand up to join her, the other five come rushing in. Oh no. Two against you. It's a 14 hit. Oh, it misses. <laughs> Overhead. Oh, oh no! Strong. She's too strong! <sighs> a 23, does that hit? That does hit! Oh no! You take Game one help. one point of bludgeoning damage. Just one <laughs> leaps! A flying kick that hits you and like kind of like just pushes your head a little bit before it kicks off. <laughs> yes, it works. Yeah. Cool. They're barely unseen servants. Yeah, yeah. they are. Yeah. They are <laughs> vaguely there. <laughs> the other three rush towards you. One goes to try and grapple you from behind to hold you. Uh, make a an athletics check for me. Okay. Um, that. Oh, that's a nineteen plus nine, so twenty-eight. 
it's like being held by a by like a warm breeze. It's holding on, like, <laughs> and you're here, but you're just like it's it's immaterial. The other two come towards you to just unload on you with a series of blows. Uh, Fifteen. It doesn't hit. <laughs> 12. No, it doesn't hit. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> and the last one will be a 14. They are coming at you, but you are just too powerful as these hits just kind of like tissue paper <laughs> off of you. And they're just like barking and growling. You feel awesome. You feel unstoppable. It's your turn. What are you doing? Okay. okay. This is what little kids do. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so they if they're still. <laughs> If they're they're grappling there's, around there's me, there's one grabbing you, and there's two like to the front and sides of you. Oh okay, so what I'm gonna do? Not actually grappling you. I holding on to you. <laughs> I am going to go into a rage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and in that rage, I'm gonna look over at. <laughs> I'm going to look over at Bo. I'm gonna bamf out the wings. Yes. Yeah. That's hot. And then Get I'm gonna it. take uh, my. My new sword. Oh yeah. And new I'm sword? just gonna just start flying around and then just like swing. Go for it, since it is not attuned to you. Yeah. It, it's, yeah, you're just swinging a yeah. basic sword. I'm swinging a basic yeah. sword. Yeah. But go ahead, roll for an attack. Okay. Do I, am I adding anything? You're adding your strength oh, yeah. modifier to strength it. Strength modifier. Okay. And your, and your proficiency modifier, because you are still proficient with a great sword. So it would be proficiency plus strength. Okay. So that would be. Oh wow. Okay. So. Uh, 26. That definitely hits. Yeah. So <laughs> as you pull the, the wings outward, feathers <sighs> scatter out and like mix with the glitter that's still kind of in the air and drifting past. You take the sword and whoosh, and as you strike through, it like just passes through and it stands there. <laughs> and just explodes <laughs> in the glitter as you spin around for the second strike. Go ahead and roll. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Um, oh, wow. Okay, why am I rolling so well right now? Um, and, okay, so 15, uh, 20, uh, 30 total. Yeah. yeah. The other one sees the blade coming and goes and jumps in the air to try and kick towards your head. And as you do, you sweep the blade upward and you watch it go into another shower of black and blue dust sparkling in the air. There is currently two left that are engaged with Beauregard. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go over there mm -hmm. and <laughs> I'm gonna fly over to her. I'm gonna grab her and pull her in oh. and Queen. kiss her. Yes. And then flick the other two. Awesome. I'll, tell you, I'll give you a free action on that, that one. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as they're just assailing, well, we'll say for the purposes of this, you're just giving into this. We'll say you're 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 letting this happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's your turn. Sentinel. As as you're holding her in there, they're both oh. battering at you and, and oh. having no impact. As you, poof, poof, they both just detonate. As the glitter passes, and you're left there standing, holding her. As you pull back. This Make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, we oh. fucking do. Do we? Do we have more stops? <sighs> ding a ling a ling a ling. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, cat, uh. The cat is there. There is a little placard. It says fear on it. I look at it. Three adjacent closets are opened by more dachshunds, oh, and a billowing cloud of steam spills out of the, the center door of these three, bringing with it the scent of herbs and soap. Uh, these three new stages begin to slide out and unfold, similarly to the tavern, across the hall from you. The center stage unfolds and reveals a fairly large, polished stone tub filled with water that is steaming hot, just like this date. A few benches <laughs> surround it. As well as an array of greenery displayed in uh, planters about the water, uh, there's a sign hanging off the lip of the stage, and it bears the familiar words, Steam's Respite. And it does, in fact, look like a stylized version of the bathhouse you visited in Zadash. The stages on the left and right 
are a touch more elaborate, and you hear gears clanking and turning inside uh, the folded contraptions, uh, extending up and uh, broadening out, and you watch as two platforms begin to erect themselves before your eyes. Ladders fall down, and lengths of highly polished brass metal begin to extend out in segments until you see two slightly varied brass water slides <laughs> that lead to the stone pool of water before you. One slide comes down in a curve to the very edge of the tub. Uh, the other one is just a short little dip into space, which leads for a 10-foot drop into the water. They're a little bit different. Finally, underneath each of these two platforms, Our surrounded... Parrot samurai. Surrounded, <laughs> <laughs> surrounded by more greenery that is sliding into place as I speak, there are two large... Apex Predator cats. Bear with me here. A pair of massive amber lionesses sit proudly amongst fragrant eucalyptus leaves, and beside each of them, a straw mat rests. On one platform, there is also another easel from Caleb with a short note. Dear Beauregard, please forgive my deviating from your explicit instructions. But as a fan of rule breaking, I think you will likely permit the transgression. Besides, what better gift could I offer the lionette? Please enjoy your massage and soak. See you tomorrow at breakfast. CW. Well, what, 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 what happens in here? Do we fight? We don't fight. They rub. Yes. Our backs. For a massage. It's a massage. He got us a massage. Yes. I've missed massages so much. <laughs> Me too. Well. Tower's ours. Claim the rest of the night with me? Absolutely. I strip naked, go up to one of the the water slides go down into the hot tub. It's hot. Huh? <laughs> I uh. strip naked, mm -hmm. fly up to the top of the water slide. <laughs> go, let's go. <laughs> Come on. Camp back tradition. In. I know I can't take them out twice, but. Uh, they haven't faded yet. They haven't faded, okay, good. Time, um, time gets weird here for the time being, because why the fuck not? And then I, I'll, I'll um, go down the slide sideways like this, <laughs> <laughs> flying through the air. Yes. <laughs> and then I just cuddle up into her, wrap my arms around her, give her another big kiss. The whole room darkens as the few globules that are here dim, 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 and you once again earn a little small intimate pocket of light in this giant chamber, and then you start to see illusory fireworks in the dark above you. And as you look at each other's faces in this hot tub, you see those lights reflected on each other's beautiful faces, reds and blues and greens. Hey. I love you, too. That's the best thing I've ever heard. Just lay my head on your shoulder. Enjoy the show. <laughs> oh, but at some point, I'm very Curious about the mirror being in your bedroom. The mirror. Yes, yes, yes. The mirror in your bedroom. Bed is made whenever you're ready. We'll enjoy the show first. Okay. We enjoy the show. All right. That's <laughs> update night. That's a steam best date fills ever. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. Steam, 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 steam fills steam. the camera. <laughs> As the fireworks. Oof, doof, doof. Oof, fade off. Then we'll go ahead and finish tonight's episode. Right? Mm. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs>
rest of the group sits outside. It smells like farts out oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> I just, as, as we fall asleep, I just slap forward on the tit. <laughs> <laughs> I start to cry just a little. <laughs> They're so sensitive now. I will, I will just throw in one last little detail because there was a chance you were going to go to your rooms. Yeah. And eventually you will, and eventually you're going to fuck. But yeah. um, I want to know everything. When you enter into the sitting room, not you, Yasha, but you, Beauregard, with your passive perception, notice a very slight change to the stained glass window above the fireplace, which is a picture of the Mighty Nine, their yeah. backs, staring out at a field. Uh, in in the Empire, and the only change, it's very minimal, is the Yasha and Bo's hands are oh, linked yeah. together. Come on. Uh, scene. <laughs> well, my good friend. My good friend. An, <laughs> an, ev an oh. evening to take a moment to appreciate the reason you fight and the things worth protecting with the dangers ahead. Mm. To take a moment of respite, well earned, of connection, well needed, and to take stock in what's important. Thank you all for joining us. We'll see you next week. We love you very much. Aww. And is it Thursday yet? Yeah. Good night. Yeah, y'all hooked up! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>